Hey guys, um, I know you really can't see my face in this, but yeah, anyway, I'm doing the this or that tag, um, and yeah, anyway, it's choose between A or B basically, um, and I've got a full list here, 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 sorry, good page, here, yeah, and have a page. Yeah, oh, sorry, there. Anyway, um, I'm probably gonna edit this so it's like in thermal or something because like I love the thermal effect. Um, anyway, I don't, if you want to say I'm too close to the cam, have a look behind me. You can see a bed post and everything. I'm on my bed at the moment because I haven't got a computer desk. I haven't got a, you know, with us centering bums can't afford all that. Yeah, I had someone come here saying, like, um, you know, saying I do videos all day or whatever. You know, you don't know the story behind someone, and if you've got the time to, like, get online. Alright, if you've got the time to get online and bitch to someone that they're saying something, like, bum, I mean, what are you doing for that five minutes at work on YouTube or Facebook or whatever? Um, and also, why are you picking on that girl? female with a disability. I have to explain to you why I don't work or work very little. But I have a physical disability that limits what I can do. And even going for jobs, people will definitely pick able bodies, so put able bodies, non disability people over me every single time. Anyway, I don't know why I have to explain myself to everyone, but yeah, that's it. Anyway, back to the tag. Alright, um, it's the this or that tag. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, it's basically you pick one or the other in certain things. And, like I said, I've got like three pages, probably like 50 things, I'm not too sure, or 20 things, probably. I don't know how many. There are how many. I just went on someone's this or that tag and picked it. Write down all the questions myself. Um, if some of them are wrong or irrelevant, it's because I went on a lady from the US America, or America page, and yeah, so anyway, I don't know if it's the same questions per country, or whatever, considering we don't really have, well, in Australia, well, at least Western Australia, we don't really have certain shops in here that other states or countries might have. Anyway, let's get on with the tag. It's blush or bronzer. I have to choose between blush or bronzer. I'd choose bronzer because you can do way more with it. Um, you can define your cheeks with it to, and just put a dab on to make it look like you've got this, a different shade of blusher on for once. Um, yeah, and you can bronze yourself up with it and contour. Like, you can do everything with it. Like shape your face or thing like do your contouring and then everything like that with it and a bit of on the cheekbone like on your cheeks and everything so anyway definitely bronzer lip gloss or lipstick um this is a puffy i've been using lip gloss a lot lately um but i'd have to say lipstick simply no actually i don't know lip gloss or lipstick um I've had a video saying why lip gloss or lipstick's better. Um, lip gloss definitely makes your lips look fuller depending on the shine and all that in it. Um, lipstick can be very matte and that will look like on certain lips. It'll just bring out the fact that your lips are thinning or whatever or they really be. Um, but I do prefer a lipstick simply because, um, I don't know, it just looks more natural and professional in a way, like going for a job interview, you're obviously not going to wear a lip gloss to a job interview, like for an office or whatever, um, it just looks more, like I said, natural, professional, I don't know what the actual word is, please put their word in there, anyway, so definitely lipstick, I just prefer it, generally. And Eyeliner or mascara? I'd say mascara because 
uh, you want to define your eyes, yet you want to keep your lashes between thick and full, and eyeliner is just going to close your eyes if you use a dark one and all that. Um, yeah, and there are also mascaras out there that have different effects or different colours so you can like use make your yeah, eyes green with green mascara or anything. I just prefer mascara as eyeliner any day. Um, foundation or concealer. I'd say foundation because it'll cover the whole face or even redness and everything. Um, well, concealer does the exact same thing, but you're not going to put concealer as a full base on your face, are you? Like that tiny little tube will probably like cover half your face, and that's it. Anyway, yeah. Um, and if you've got like problem areas, like I do, obviously, um, you just layer on a little bit more foundation until you get the desired coverage you want. So yeah, definitely foundation. Nooch. Okay, the next one is neutral or colour eyeshadows. I'd go for neutral. I just like the neutral look over coloured eyeshadows any day. Um. Because you can like make them work to your advantage, whereas coloured aren't gonna really suit every skin tone, every, yeah, every skin tone or every eye colour, or whatever. You gotta be really picky about what you choose then with coloured. But with um new neutrals, it's gonna pretty much suit anyone and all that, and you can use at any age the neutrals. And yeah, it's just better because you can use them for anything you do, you do school, you do college, uni, um, events, you can use your neutrals for any of that, um, especially if you buy the quads or more because you know, you can have more colours to um, experiment with. Anyway, what do we got? Loose or pressed eyeshadow? I'd go for press, it's just like um, less messy more. Generally, it's less messy depending on the brand you use and how crap they are. If they're good brands, they're going to be less messy and less, mm, sorry, and less fallout. Um, they're going to be way better generally. Um, yeah, so I definitely go for press. Um, brushes or sponges? Oh my god, this one's a bit hard. Um, I don't use sponges or brushes for my foundation, obviously. Um, but I've heard like that sponges soak up a lot more of the um, product, so then you end up using more product to apply it to your face because the sponge really much soaks up like probably about 50 percent, not even not 50 percent of the product, but close to like probably 10 percent or anything. It just soaks up so much of the product that you end up applying more and using more of the product than what you really need. So I'd definitely go for brushes if I use brushes. White or dark hair? Um, dark. I don't know, I've always been, obviously I've always been a broken hair ever since I was born, so um, I'm used to having dark hair. Um, I wouldn't go lighter. And if I tried to go lighter, I'd have to spend like, probably like $200 at salons or whatever doing it to go lighter. Um, yeah, anyway, I'm pretty dark as it is. This isn't really the proper colouring because <coughs> of the lighting. Anyway, I'd go darker. Like a reddish colour, like a coppery colour and darker. Like I've been with black. Can you say black on YouTube? Yeah, I've had black hair before. I loved it. Um, so yeah, I'd go darker, definitely. Um, what do we have? OPI or China Glaze Nail Polish. I haven't tried either, but I've seen on YouTube OPI and it looks like a pretty decent brand. Um, it looks like it goes on pretty evenly and it doesn't go on really thin or anything. Um, you don't have to use more than probably two coats of it. Because I noticed um, they go on like, they're really watery consistency and they go on really, really thin and you end up with like half nail stick with thick nail polish, one like dark shading and then others like thin layer and everything so um yeah I think I've never I haven't I don't think I've seen anyone use China glaze yet I have to YouTube it and get back. Anyways I'd go OPI even though I haven't used either of them but I've just seen an example. Ooh. Sorry guys um long or short nails I'd go long because look at my these are my steady fingers thing. They're a bit long you know we gone. They're sort of long now, um, but I definitely go long. It just makes your fingers look 
nicer, your hands look nicer. Um, so yeah, long nails, acrylic or natural? Um, I would prefer natural, um, simply because I couldn't bother be going, be bothered going to get them put on. If you do it professionally, get them put on, get them like gel filled or whatever every so off, like every few weeks. Um, natural is just a lot easier to take care of and a lot cheaper. So yeah, I'd go natural. Brights or darks? What's this on? Brights or darks? Um, uh, I think this is mm, brights or darks. I think this is referring to nails too. I'd go dark. Um, I think I don't know either way. I like them both, but darks look more natural and they're more suited to different things, like different outfits and that, so they're a lot more, um, what's the word? I can't think of the word. A lot more, uh, I'll probably think of the word later on. Anyway, flower or no flower, like, what the heck? Um, no flower, I guess? I don't even know what that's referring to, so, like, yeah. Perfume or splash, what does that mean? Um, is it like perfume or cologne or like perfume or um, like your impulse? Um, if it's perfume or cologne, obviously perfume, but if it's perfume or impulse, I'd go for impulse. Sorry, my phone just like went off. It's on vibrate or something like that. So, yeah, anyway. Um, lotion or body butter? Sorry, I kept looking down. Lotion or body butter? Um, I'd definitely go for lotion. I just don't like the idea of body butter. So, um, it's supposed to be good for you and everything, but I don't know, lotion smells nicer, or it can smell nicer, and yeah. And I'm just used to lotion, I guess. Okay, um, body wash or soap? Body wash, definitely. It's like more hydrating. Um, soap dries you out and everything, so body wash is a Definitely. Lush or other bath company? Never heard of Lush. I do want to hear of it. Um, yeah, I'm sorry I'm whispering. Is it Lush or other bath company? Um, I don't know really. Sorry, I don't know any bath companies. Probably Body Shop is a bath company, I think. I'm not too sure. Long sleeve or short? Um, obviously I'm wearing no sleeve today. It's just one of my dress to throw on. I can't be bothered getting like pants or anything. But I'd definitely go, um, depending on the weather, short sleeve. It's got to cover my arm, part of my arm, at least. So, long or short, uh, is three quarter long or short? It's probably long, so I'll go long, okay. Dresses or skirts? Dresses. I love dresses. I'm addicted to dresses. Um, I. Well, we just had winter in Australia, and I was wearing dresses pretty much through the whole winter because it was like really warm anyway. Um, so different dresses, stripes or plaid? Stripes or plaid? Uh, plaid, definitely. I just like the look of it. It's like healthy. Um, songs. Okay, this is flip flops or sandals. In Australia, we call flip flops songs. Every other, like, other countries call thong, I like few strings, but in here thongs are uh, flip-flops or sandals. Thong, thong slash flip-flops or white sandals. When I've done the slash, it's because some countries call flip-flops thongs and, yeah. Anyway, um, I'd go neither, I guess. Maybe thongs. I don't wear either one of them, so I don't really know. Heels or flats? Flats. I hate heels. Sorry, I just can't wear heels at all. Well, I don't wear them in general and I've never wanted to. <laughs> Alright, cowboy or riding boots? Riding boots? Cowboy boots are like so 1980s or 1970s or whatever, so yeah. Um, jacket or hoodie? Um, depending on the occasion, if you're going to look fancy, a jacket is nicer than a hoodie. But if it's just casual, like everything I do is casual, so I would go hoodie, especially like in wind, like deep like midwinter when it's like stormy and rainy. If you get caught in the rain you've got your hoodie to save your hair and everything and okay. paste. Crombie or Hollister? What the heck? 
I don't even know what that is. I'm just gonna like pass. Sex fit or Nordstrom? What the freaking hell? I don't know. Pass. Go with straight. Straight. My hair is naturally a little bit wavy, um, but I'd go straight over curly any day. Bun or ponytail? I always wear my hair in a bun, uh, uh, a ponytail, as you can tell. Um, but I'd go bun. It just looks nice and fancy, and you can like put little flowers and everything in it, and clips and stuff, and it makes it look real fancy. Bobby pins or butterfly clips? I'd go bobby pins simply because I like my hair in different styles, and bobby pins will keep everything in place, even though they're really fidgety. Um, but you know, if you've got the time, bobby pins are pretty good. Hairspray or gel? Um, people? I don't reckon hairspray. I hate either one of them, but if I had to, I'd go hairspray definitely. Yeah, so hairspray. Light or dark? Um, what the heck? Who's back on hair again? Because I'll oh, choose dark. <laughs> side bangs or fringe or. Oh, no. Side bangs slash fringe. In Australia, we call side bangs a fringe. I've got. Well, when my hair is normally. When my hair's cut, I usually have a side bang, but I'm thinking of not having it anymore because it just didn't work for me last time. Up or down? I love my hair up on lazy days, but when I go out, I like it down. It just, I don't know, it's just something different, so I'll go down. Rain or shine? Rain. Rain. I love, 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 love the weather. When it's like stormy and everything, and like got the thunder and everything. Um, some people hate it, but I just love it. Except when it's like thundery and it's humid, then I hate it. But generally, I'd go for rain. Summer or winter? Again, previous reason, winter. Love the rain and everything. I hate getting caught in it. I just love the sound of the rain and the hail and everything. The thunder is like no fun. Um, chocolate or vanilla? I'd go vanilla because you can like flavor it up with everything you do. So like definitely vanilla because yeah, like I said, you can put plenty of flavours in it and change the flavour up and everything. East coast or west coast? What does this mean? Do you like the east? Does this mean you live on the east coast or the west coast? Or does this mean you like either one? Um, if it's a, I'd go west coast because I live here. Actually, I'm gonna choose west coast anyway for both reasons. If it's for any reason, I don't know. Um, I live here. I've lived here my whole life. I haven't visited anywhere else. Um, I might want to go. There's places I want to visit in the West Coast. But, like, I would live in Western Australia, so I assume that's why that's what West Coast means, like the West Coast of Australia. So I'd definitely go West, definitely, just being loyal. And that, it seems, is the end of the video. Alright, I am so sorry for this crappy lighting again, and... I will, like, <clears throat> sorry for rambling on and on and on, I will totally do other videos soon. Um, yeah, I'm doing a few more videos. I've got, like, models I have to get for, like, my mature ladies one, which I'm still going on about, but I'm still, I'm going to do it, we're going to do it, but soon yet, within the next couple of weeks, hopefully. Um, so that is my this or that tag video done, and I tag all of you to do it. Alright, bye. <laughs>